State Park. 2010 Annual Barbecue Gathering hosted by Ed Clay. Supposed to be a pretty nice place here. Claims to be America's first two-time winner of the Florida National Gold Medal. Voted America's finest. Didn't get the pavilion that we wanted. I didn't get here till about eight o'clock. There was nobody here. Ed Clay didn't show up. And by the time I figured out what the heck was going on, I called Jim and he told me that I was in the right place. I should try and grab that pavilion up there. And before I could get back across the street, another gang pulled up and started unloading the barbecue pit. So we didn't get that one. We got this little pavilion down here on the end. the way I got two or three more bags coming when George comes. Okay, well I, I got a trailer full of ice right here. Just ice, fresh ice, good ice, you know, drinks or whatever. Okay. You get that down. There's another ice chest that has cake salad and cucumbers and sour cream. Mm. Some I got a uh, the preparation for macaroni salad going, but I don't know about the dairy to put in it. I'll go ahead and throw these under that pork shoulder and that's going to get juice on So the macaroni is the mayonnaise. Okay, and this little uh, pot, uh, pot there is a cooler. Yeah, for drinking. So strictly drinking, you know, ice and drinking, beer drinks and whatever. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. They walk up there sometimes. Three dollars parking per person. How many do Well, I'm like, we that nerve medicine Yeah. I said, 
Jim. Hey, Harrod. <laughs> Dale, that's big Jim behind you. Hey, darling.
I would like to get down in the bayou country, down a little lower, and find a place down there that had, like one of the dance halls. Pats did that too, but they only did it on Friday. His name is Randy Falcon. He owns a rice mill in Crowley himself. And uh, this guy makes the French accordion. Okay. Okay? He's got a patent. He got a patent. He's the only one that has the patent to make the dual accordion. Everything else, and they've got the patent on it. And some of them are good points, like 10 grand, some of them four or five, some of them four. Road, and I pulled off and got me a room at the Days Inn there in, uh, in Lafayette. Then I ended up after that, my next stop was uh, uh, Killeen, Texas, Fort Hood. <laughs> right. Let me get over here. He, he wanted me to ride up. What's your thermometer reading on that? Oh, 113. 113? It went down, eh? What, what was it? 165. I, oh, you got it set for 165. Something's wrong with my damn tent. But anyway, go on. Anyway, we had that target out behind our tent. And it came apart so you could carry it and everything. Got up one morning, you can ask David when he comes here, he'll tell you the same thing. Damn head was gone off of it and was down the road. A hundred, hundred yards maybe, maybe not quite that far, but something had come in there and attacked that thing and tore the head off of it. Took it down the road a ways before it turned it loose. Ain't got no idea what it was or anything, but it was right out. We must have been sleeping good. I reckon. That's the no, I thought I was going to hop right up and go. It didn't work out that way. Well, I don't know baby. Hey, Rebecca. It, it, chew it up. Chew it till it melts. And then drink your drink. And it'll work in 30 minutes. It don't taste all that bad. It don't take as good as the ones they used to give me. <coughs> but it ain't bad. Just chew them up. Just crunch them up. They'll dissolve quicker. Add a little bit bitter. I used to like to eat pear aspirin before they coated them. Back when, back when I was pretty sore, you know, my back was all tore up and still. You know, you don't be out there. Yeah, I walked all the way out there in the canal and I realized I was going to buy some weed. So I just fell back out in the canal. I was going to buy some weed. So I just fell back out in the canal. I just fell back out in the canal. I just fell back out in the canal. Oh yes, what about these bowls? What is this? Are we using the salsa? Here's our railroad. 
I'll show you that far pan right there. Uh, like which one? The, that far one. That's right. No, right there. This is right here. Here. That's green bean stuff. That's okay. Not hopping John, but my version of hot. That, that's Ed's green bean stuff. That's Ed's green bean stuff. stuff. Ain't nothing to do with hopping John. That's green yeah, beans. It, it ain't really got nothing to do. <laughs> I didn't call it hopping John. A few other people. Yeah, so. you did. I said that's what they you called it. You compared it. Me. I call it Ed's green bean stuff. Oh. Okay. They're salad, green beans. That'd be like comparing crock pot barbecue to real deal. Oh, they, they That's better than Hoppin' Jones. How's that? <laughs> oh, did y'all find the coleslaw? No. Oh, uh, yeah, where's the coleslaw? Coleslaw's in the cooler. Well, the pulled pork ain't done yet, but chicken is. Well, Chicken's we got, the only thing that's done. Get, just get a bag of it. Just get one, okay. Here's the fourth one. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta have your learner's permit for a year. Well, they just drove off the Damn, will you marry me? Get some of that slaw. Huh? Darren, how many people am I marrying you to this weekend? <laughs> All right, the other shelter's open up now if y'all want to move. Son of a gun. Yeah, it would be good. Yeah, I came out of the boy. I might have to take some. What, his coleslaw? I ain't never had this version before. Smaller. You sure? I'm positive. That's the same, the same one, you make one I make time. all the time. It ain't. As far as I know, on the bottom for a small animal. I ain't never got none now. No, you knew. There's one right there at the brisket. Well. Stabbing for it. I said, well. What? Sir. <laughs> <laughs> ain't it left? I need to get my truck started so I can charge it.